Hi everyone, it's Friday which means that we have a lovely story for you today. Uh, after three stories of Squelga, I thought it might be nice to read something that's just simple and fun and in English. So we're going to read Milo Goes Bananas today. Uh, before I begin I just want to say a huge, huge thank you to everyone. You've put in so much work this week. It's been fairly full on and you've just done so so well. So. Give yourselves a pat on the back and thank you very much for doing such a great job with Seesaw. Um, so, get yourselves comfortable, get your favourite maybe cup of tea if you like tea, get yourself a glass of milk if you like that, and relax and uh, enjoy this story, Milo Goes Bananas. So, it is written by Benjamin Richards and the pictures are by Louise Forshaw. Somewhere, deep in the jungle, high up in the trees, lived two monkeys, Milo and Mia. One morning, when Milo woke up, he had a horrible feeling. A feeling that he had forgotten something very, very important. So, he started to think. He had remembered to do some exercise a few days ago, and he had groomed me as fur the day after that. And just yesterday, he tidied up all the banana skins at the bottom of their tree. Suddenly, Milo remembered. He had forgotten it was Mia's birthday, and he hadn't got her a present. Milo crept away to find a present for Mia before she woke up. He knew just what to get her. A banana. Mia loved bananas. When she wasn't eating bananas, she was thinking about them. And when she wasn't thinking about bananas, she was eating them. Milo quickly swung from tree to tree, and before long he found what looked like a brilliant birthday banana. But it was massive. This banana is way too big, said Milo. I'll never be able to carry it home. Milo swung to another tree and soon found another banana. But this time, it was way too small. In fact, it was teeny tiny. Mia won't want this banana, said Milo. She could eat it all in one bite. Then Milo spotted a huge bunch of bananas that had fallen from a tree. What's better than one banana? A whole bunch of them, Milo shouted happily. But as he grabbed one of the bananas, it squished and squelched in his hand. Mia can't eat these bananas, groaned Milo. They are all mouldy. Milo found all sorts of bananas around the jungle. Oi, said a little ant. You can't take this one, said the orangutan. But no matter where he looked, he couldn't find the perfect birthday banana for Mia. Milo knew that Mia would be awake soon. He couldn't let her wake up on her birthday without a present. So, Milo grabbed the next banana he saw and swung his way home as fast as he could. Mia was just starting to wake up as Milo arrived home. Happy birthday, Mia, called Milo. Thank you, Milo, replied Mia. But Mia noticed that something was wrong. Are you okay, Milo? No, said Milo. I couldn't find the perfect banana for your birthday present. I'm sorry, Mia. Don't be silly, said Mia. The most important thing is that you're here with me on my birthday. Why don't we share this banana, said Mia. It'll be the perfect birthday breakfast. And it was. That was Milo Goes Bananas. I think it's a lovely story about doing something nice for your friends and when your friends realise that you were just trying to look out for them all along. Um, so I want to say one more time thank you very very much for all the work you've done this week. You've been great and you've, uh, you've kept up with everything really well and if anything is 
too tough, you can let me know and I might be able to help you with it. If you can't get around all the work, that's fine too, okay? I want to put this stuff up there and if you're able to do it, great. If you can't get around to all of it, don't sweat it. Don't worry about it, okay guys? Just try your best and see what you can get on with. But so far, I have to say, I'm really, really impressed with you all. So thank you very, very much and have a lovely weekend. Sláin!